Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am Ori, and welcome back to EU4 and our Coptic Crusade campaign as Ethiopia. So, on to a full-length episode this time, which is going to be nice, because we are gearing up for a war against the Ottomans. We do have a few noble rebels that we need to put down, but nothing too major, I would say. Uh, other than that, the economy has been rectified for the most part. The burgers are no longer mad, which is really nice. Uh, the nobility's fine, the clergy's really happy, everything is going pretty well, I would say. I would not mind getting that extra, um, 30k manpower, but I don't really want to pay extra for the troops right now. So what we could do, I mean, definitely we're gonna pop this as soon as we go to war with, uh, the Ottomans. I see absolutely no reason not to get that extra 10% morale, but I do want to get these two right here. The missionary strength will be nice, but I'm mainly after that 30% goods produced modifier between those two, which is going to be sweet. Which is definitely going to be sweet. Okay, so we do need to build the uh, some trade buildings around here overall, I would say. Especially out here in uh, our new uh, conquests, I should say. Our new assets. Yes. Yeah, our latest acquisitions. There we go. That's what I was after. So let's just get right back into it. I mean, we obviously have hostile sieges, but that's fine. Conversions are going lovely. Castile? No. You're at war with uh, the Ottomans and Mali? No! I just said no twice. Don't make me say no a third time, boy. I will invade you. I will invade you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start coring some of this land up. Which is going to be pretty nice, I would say. We have a few more troops uh, being trained. Again, don't really care too much about these rebels. We have uh, Frost coming in to smash them down. He's about to arrive, which will be quite nice. Doesn't appear Austria is going to help us on this, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I will detach a sieging unit there. Uh, revolt down there, that's not surprising. We actually have to move a stack down there now, unfortunately. So, Para, guess what? Uh, go. Not by, not by land, though, boy. Not by land. We'll take the navy, bring you down here. There we go. That'll be fine. Uh, 20 Diplo. I'll, I'll take a free claim. I don't have any idea where that is. Ooh, conquest. Oh, that was on Bakmanis. That's cool. Excellent. So, as far as the colonies go, how are we doing there? I think we actually might be able to afford some more colonies very shortly. Which is going to be nice. Which is definitely going to be nice. It is almost time for our Ottoman War. Moravian Separatists. It is almost time for the war against the Ottomans. Alright, we'll have Frost come down here and deal with this rebel stack as well. See, those rebels are dealt with. Excellent. Beyond that, I think we pretty much are ready. Do we want to strike into Egypt or do we want to strike directly into the heartland of Anatolia? Hmm. I'm not sure, honestly. I'm not sure. Well, I'll think about that for a little bit. We're going to keep coring this stuff up. Keep coring our fresh provinces up. Diplotech cost. Uh, how far out are we on Diplotech? Let's see, this is for 10 years, and I am going to be, I do want to build some ships. And it's not like the next tech is that important. So yeah, we'll go ahead and pick that up. We're still trying to work on trade as well, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and roll for a fresh general here, and we will get Ghostronaut back into the fold. Oh, uh, no, we'll go for the full. There we go. Oop, not gentle nom. There we go. Ghost or not? Yeah, you're not too bad. Yeah, you're 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 a decent general. Two two one two. I will take that. Still working on getting those provinces cored. We have to group our armies up still. Para has landed here. We're gonna have him go crush these uh, Moravian separatists. We've definitely stemmed the bleeding though, which is good. Definitely good. We're only about five years out from uh, court and country firing, which will be nice. Uh, we may actually need to run out here, possibly. 
Did we add this to the uh, trade company? We did. Okay. This is all part of the trade company. Good, 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 good. Just checking. How close are we to having Ayutthaya converted? We're getting there. We're getting there. It'll be done uh, February of next year, which is nice. Okay, uh, Para, just go smash that army before it does anything else. More conversions are wrapping up, which is fine. Something fired. We'll, we'll look at it. Hormuz has joined a coalition. You know, it may actually... We may just have to go, honestly. We may just have to go. Hmm. That's a long march over to Cairo. Hmm. So the coalition is beginning to reform. I don't have anyone in position to deal with Hormuz, which is a it's a shame, because I very much would like to have a stack there just to knock Hormuz out of this in very short order. Uh no. Uh stab hit. Fine, we'll lose our army professionalism. That's dumb. Okay, we have a stack here to deal with this. That's perfect. Uh, we probably have some more rebels that fired somewhere that I just can't find. I don't think so, though, which is actually really nice. Is our truce with Madurai up yet? Uh, fairly close, actually. I'd love to conquer them. I do want to go to war with Bachmanis at some point. Delhi wouldn't join. That's kind of amusing, actually. Delhi would not join. Uh, but then again, yeah, we need to focus more on the Ottomans so we can work on uh, picking up that achievement, which is going to be fine. There we go. Frost, you go there. Para, come back to the coast. Uh, we'll t pick you up with the Navy and send you into Hormuz. Oh, it looks like we can go ahead and play with our estates once again. It'll be, it'll be interesting to see what Dharma does to the estates overall, you know? I'm... Uh, I'm a little, I'm excited, but I'm a little nervous at the same time. I am going to get that 150 Diplo, because I do want to finish up our ideas. Uh, we will seek support of the clergy. We can establish a new world mission. We'll get the minister. We'll, we're going to just get as much as we can from the clergy. Uh, apparently, we cannot call a diet yet, which is fine. We'll just wait until April, I think, is when we can demand mill points. Let's go ahead and core all of this up. There we go. That's going to be nice. Might help the economy some. It might not. We'll find out in a moment, though. I think having the, uh, um, let's see. I think having the, uh, burgers be upset again is definitely not, uh, helping the economy, but it is what it is at this point. Let's go. We're going to smash this down. Ayutthaya is converted. Songhai joined the coalition. So we do have to be pretty quick about this, honestly. Now that Ayutai is converted, let's go ahead and add it to a trade company. Let's see. Uh, Indo-Chinese charter. We only have 12%. 16% uh, missionary, or not missionary strength, um, trade power in this node. Which isn't bad, honestly. I, I We definitely need more trade power here in Malacca, though. Because a lot of the money we're bringing here is not going to Zanzibar like it should. I mean, Zanzibar is still a pretty uh, rich nation. And we are bringing all of this money from Congo down now. Or Zanzibar is still a pretty rich node, I should say. So we definitely don't even need a merchant in the Great Lakes. We're just automatically pulling that. Uh, beyond that, we're going to just have to kind of sort out the trade at some point in the not-too-distant future. But first things first, we got to go ahead and just deal with this war. It's time. Before the Ottomans uh, join, Mali is getting beat down. Or before the uh, before everyone joins a coalition. We're going to make this the uh, war goal. Mali won't join. Gujarat won't join. Yarkand and Hormuz will. Let me check, actually. If I declared on Hormuz, we would actually pull the Mamluks and Songhai in. So let's just not do that. We will call Russia in. I see no, absolutely no reason not to. Show superiority? Yeah, I'm not all that concerned about it. Let's just go for it. There we go. And of course, the first thing I'm going to do is pop. Boom. Let's see. Can we switch our focus yet? 
I would very much like to. We have a morale advisor. I'm almost tempted to get a discipline advisor, but... Hmm, I mean, the yearly inflation actually might be kind of nice, because our inflation is going up. Then again, that, product that extra production efficiency is really helping out. Hmm... We still need to build trade depots. That's one thing we definitely need to work on. Let's go ahead and build one here in Ayutthaya. Since we did just finish converting that, that's going to be just fine. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I believe our uh, merchant fleets should go hide at this point. So we've converted all of this land, which is nice. There's a little bit more here we still need to convert, but we can't quite yet. Uh, and beyond that, there's really not much more to convert. I would say we should start doing more colonization, but at the same time, uh, nope. <laughs> we can't really afford it right now. So we're not at war with the Mamluks. This is fine. Let's go ahead and engage this stack here. Austria is... Uh, I think Austria will help us on this, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's just watch and find... Oh, my God. 7.1 to 4.7. That is disgusting. We still took more casualties overall, but wow, that was a disgusting battle. All right, there we go. Caravan power. Extra merchant. Glorious. Now, where do we put this merchant? Um, sure, let's put him in Goa. Might as well for now. I see no reason not to throw him into Goa. All right, so you're here. That's fine. Let's just go deal with Hormuz. This will be an easy... Uh, should be a fairly easy affair. Let's go ahead and pop up here into uh, this area. We'll go ahead and get some sieges going. We'll go take Belgrade because it's a level 2 fort, so Sword should be able to blitz this down very quickly. Yeah, already at 0% there. Austria's main forces actually are already sieging here, which is sweet. I would like to go ahead and crush this stack. Crush this five stack. Should be a wipe. Yep, that is fine. We have not taken the war goal yet, so let's go ahead and move this stack up here to try and intercept that Ottoman uh, stack. I think we're going to be able to. We've at least hemmed them in, and it appears the uh, Austrians are about to get this fort already, which is sweet. How's the siege going up there? Um, ooh, I don't like the fact that this happens. Um, monthly autonomy change. I mean, don't we have some... Yeah, we have monthly autonomy change in the ideas. It's not that much, but we're going to go ahead and uh, send a negotiator. Check the absolutism. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We're going to send a negotiator. And then what we're going to do, because we've finished trade now, is we're going to go ahead and go one and two. And we're going to cancel this one as soon... In a couple years, we'll cancel that. So we are burning a lot of uh, Diplo right now. But now that we've finished trade, I'm not actually all that worried about it, which is sweet. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was the war goal, right? Double check. Yeah, let's go take the war goal. And then we're going to move up and uh, more than likely reinforce Austria. He might not actually need our help, which would be kind of amusing. Nupe has joined a coalition. If you force March Frost, can you get there? No. No, but you can get there very quickly, which is good. Oh, wow. We're going to just go hunt this Ottoman stack down, honestly. This little Ottoman 16 stack. He's headed there, which is fine. I'll leave the uh, force march on. Come on, Swert. There you go. Belgrade has fallen. Let's get on to constant. Oh, wait. We can't. Uh, we got to go to Salonika. That's fine. Go crush a two stack. Gurna has been converted. Lovely stuff. And I believe that's the last of it we can do down here. We are actually making... 35 ducats a month again now, which is awesome. We'll crush this stack. We did take quite a few casualties. They have a lot higher discipline than we do is partially the issue. That's why we're going to take so many more casualties in the long run. Austria has already gotten one fortress down, which is absolutely amazing. No, Russia, why are you not... Uh... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, why are you not blockading? And now uh, it's like, wait, never mind. Ooh, Rockveld is done. We now have a lazy colonist, which is good. Good, I like having lazy colonists. Well, not really, but, uh, hmm. 
Where do we go from here? You know, is I okay, we're gonna keep one colonist in Africa at all times. Let's go ahead and just finish off the Cape of Good Hope. And then with the next colonist, we're more than likely jumping back out to Indonesia, because I do want to colonize this island right here. And claim that. Because it is some pretty sweet development here. And this would give us a bit of a foothold for getting a trade company set up, which I would like to do. Very much would like to do. Oh, okay, we engaged some Ottoman forces. That's fine. Siege is going to be over of Salonika very shortly. See? Speak of the devil. Swert. Charge. <laughs> Murder them all. Alright, so we're reinforcing here. Which is fine. I'm not actually that worried about this. Um, I'm going to have this stat go up to El Karak. We'll send uh, Frost up to El Karak. We'll have uh, Ghost reinforce him. Because there are quite a few Ottoman stacks in the area. And this also draws um, the Ottomans' attention away from Austria, which I very much like. That plus three siege bonus is just n unreal. Okay, so Hormuz is basically dead. Let's go murder their fleet real quick. Did we capture it? No. Boo. Oh, hey, look. Reinforcements. Nice. Good reinforcements. I will take that. Okay. Um, You know, Ghost, your army's in pretty good shape. Let's go ahead and collapse here. We are going to do some pretty serious damage to the Ottoman forces, I would say. That's a stack wipe. Good work. Bravo, man. Bravo. Excellent stack wipe. Oh, we captured a ship. I think we captured a galley. All right. So Hormuz is not having a good day. Uh, Can I conquer you? No, we have to wait a little bit. What are the reasons? Uh, military strength is part of it. Well, I'm going to just go annihilate that little one stack. That might help. Excellent opportunity. Ooh, manpower. Yay. Tajiri is now uh, done. Excellent. So what we're going to do, because we did switch back over to... Yes, native coexistence. Fantastic. We're going to start with Kendari. And then we will absolutely be keeping one colonist working in Africa the entire time. So Hormuz, are you done yet? Nope. Okay, well, we'll just wait. In fact, we're going to use uh, Para to kind of perform a surprise attack, I would say. Alright. This army is here. Swert is sieging Constantinople, which is glorious. It's about to fall. It's about to fall. I may actually steal Constantinople in this war. And uh, I'm considering doing some rather uh, horrendous crimes against Border Gore as well. We're going to send that stack up there. We'll send a stack here as well to deal with the Ottoman troops. This is going to be fine. Excellent. Crush. We should be able to get this fortress pretty quickly in all honesty. Another stack wipe there. Good work. Uh, a state general that's actually not all that good. Um, 5%. Ooh, we looted Constantinople. Um, I don't really... Uh, we can't really pay for that right now. Yeah, we'll take the prestige hit, I guess. Constantinople's down, though. That was, that was easy. Good job. Good job. Austria's already over there sieging, which is sweet. Um, let's go hit this level 6 fortress, I guess. Uh, beyond that, there's really not much more to siege. There's a few here. Ottomans are definitely having a bad day. Para is performing a flanking maneuver to Mosul, which is fine. Hopefully some of these fortresses fall. Oh, hey, we have trading in gems now. That's interesting. I wonder why. Because we don't have that many gem provinces overall, do we? Not... Oh, we took, uh... We, we're holding Constantinople. That's probably why. That is more... Actually, that is most definitely why, because we're holding Constantinople. That's all good, though. All right, El Karak has fallen. Um, yeah, Ghost, I want you to go reinforce that. Let's have this... Uh, let's have Frost run down to Tabuk. We'll knock out these forts. Um, no, we've got that, actually. I will take the stab at there, because I really don't want to take any more loans. Because we are having some issues. It's only 46 admin to boost that back up. Okay, let's have Ghost go deal with that Ottoman stack sieging. Um, 
down Alexandria. I would not like to lose that. Can we knock uh, Hormuz out of the war yet? Nope. He's getting there, though. He's getting there for sure. Another loan renewed. No, Hormuz. I know you want peace, but no. <laughs> All right. Slaughtering some Ottoman forces here and there, which is always nice. There we go. Siege of Mosul is done. Let's go ahead and have uh, Para reinforce this army. I think Ghost should be able to handle this pretty easily. In you go, Ghost. And, the, and we'll definitely get there before they take it. That morale difference is just ridiculous. I mean, we we definitely end up taking more casualties because of that discipline they have, but it's definitely... The morale is absolutely playing a huge factor. But on that note, I think we actually have to go ahead and wrap things up for today, unfortunately. So, as always, I would like to thank you for tuning in and spending a little part of your day here. It is greatly appreciated. If you're enjoying the series, please do remember to drop a like down below as it really does help the channel out and subscribe for more grand strategy content in the future. If you would like to help support the channel monetarily, it is greatly appreciated. Please do take a moment to check out the Patreon. Link is in the description. And if you would like to join a growing community over on Discord, there is also a link to that down below. As always, my name is Ori. I do hope you have a fantastic day and we will catch you in the next one.